We saw the inspiring story of Jessica Middleton, the 28-year-old triad woman who has overcome brain cancer, but she admitted getting the call that she had cancer was frightening. But unfortunately, it is a reality for millions of people in the United States. So today, Dr. Shahar Katragata, hematologist and medical oncologist at Cone Health Cancer Center at Annie Penn Hospital joins us. And doctor, you know, we, we saw Jessica had brain cancer and it's rare and, and can be hard to detect early, but other cancers like breast cancer, skin cancer, lung cancer are more common. Uh, what are some signs that people can watch out for? Okay, first of all, thank you Tahesha and Julie for having me as your guest. Uh, it's a terrific story. We wish Jessica all the best. Yeah. Um, fortunately, her type of cancers are not so common. I'm going to talk about signs and symptoms of most common cancers. Cancer can cause any type of symptoms. Um, the symptoms mainly depend on where it is located, how big it is, and is it pressing on the other organs. So the most common symptoms to look at are weight loss, like um, significant weight loss, fevers, uh, pain, which is not getting relieved easily, and difficulty swallowing, any changes in your bowels, cough, blood in the sputum, um, any feeling of any lumps in the body, especially in the breast or anywhere else, any change in your skin, particularly any change in the moles or warts, any non-healing source, these could all be signs of cancer. And fortunately, most of these are not actually caused by cancer, but it is very important to have them checked out. You really do have to, to listen to your body and know your body well. So there are some things people can do to catch cancer early, and that's where we want you at home to get involved. Get your phone and head over to WFMY.com slash vote now or our app and tell us which method you use for cancer screenings. Dr. Katragata, you mentioned a few things. What are some of the best ways that people can do to catch cancer early? So the best thing is to follow the screening guidelines. Screening is something we are looking for cancer in your body before it causes symptoms. So by doing screenings regularly, we can detect most commonly the breast cancer, colon cancer, cervical cancer at a very early stage where treatments can be the most effective. So many institutions, many organizations give guidelines. So the most common is Mammograms are offered at age 40, and uh, pap smears are offered at age 21, and colonoscopies are offered at age 45. So these are, these are the ones, you know, we should follow. So you mentioned three that I'm sure many people at home have heard about before, but as we know, science changes all the time for the better. So what are some of the newer screenings uh, on the horizon? Yeah, so lung cancer kills, uh, more people than breast cancer or colon cancer or prostate cancer combined. Wow. So uh, for high-risk people, a low-dose CT scan of the chest is recommended. What is high-risk is if you are in between ages of 55 and 74 and you are a current smoker or quit smoking in the past 15 years and you have at least smoked 30 pack years. 30 pack years means smoking one pack per day for 30 years or smoking two packs per day for 15 years. So those are the people who qualify for this and it has shown that it improves survival. Like people live longer by doing these yearly CT scans which are low dose CT scans. Doctor, I'm looking at the results right now. 6% say I don't check. They're talking about cancer screenings. What kind of advice would you like to give to those people who voted that way? I don't think it's a good idea just because uh, the lives lost to cancer every year can be saved with early detection. Early detection is the key because it offers us the best possible treatment and sometimes cure. It's one of those be proactive, mm -hmm. not reactive. Dr. Katragata, thank you so much for joining oh, us today. Thank you for having me. We appreciate your expertise you. and you can get your questions about cancer screenings and prevention answered in real time. On Wednesday at 4 o'clock, WFMY News 2 is hosting a web chat with Cone Health Cancer Center Oncology Outreach Manager Christine Brannock. Just look for the link on our homepage.
And for more information about cancer care and services provided at Cone Health Cancer Center, visit our website, WFMYNews2.com.